welcome to you you are seeing sap sd youtube channel please subscribe channel for more videos and to get the more knowledge on sap sd today we are going to discussing about table joints link between table to table how we can link between one table to another table so in sap sd we have some tables is there customer master tables and metal master tables and clr tables delivery tables invoice tables and document status tables and pricing tables and address tables so how we can link customer master table to sale uh, material master and customer master to sales order material to sales order order to delivery and delivery to invoice and delivery invoice to document status and invoice to pricing or order to pricing and uh, customer master to address how we are going to link okay that we are going to see so see here so if you want if you know the customer master table if you know the customer and material master what are the link between these two if you know the material master and sales order how we can link between these two if you know the material master many customer met, uh, customer master table to sales order how to link sales order to delivery how to link delivery to invoice how to link order to pricing how to link billing to pricing how to link order to order status how to link order to customer to address so like this table to table how we have to link table to table how we have to link that only we are going to see now okay so for example if you see so i know the customer number i know the customer number i want to know the order delivery and billing document number okay this is will more help you in interview point of view this concept it will more help you in interview point of view as well real time so in real time if you go into provide any logic to your paper definitely we need to know the uh, uh, link between table to table okay and uh, interview point of view also uh, when they are asking about g tables and g reports so if they given any example for uh, example basis if they given any scenarios so i want the um, customer order delivery invoice in one day one report how we can provide logic like like that this kind of any um, reports they are asking in interview okay how to answer and uh, where the link how we can identify the easy method everything we are going to discuss in this class okay so here i know the customer number i want to know order delivery invoice first of all this, we have to know the tables this customer table is going to store in k and a1 order number going to store in vba k and vba p delivery number l i k p and l i p s billing number vba r k and vba r p so this already the table uh, already we covered two sessions on the tables okay sap sd tables you can go and watch this so customer master what the purpose of what data going to store in k n a1 so uh, what information going to store in m a r m a r a and what information going to store in vba k and what information going to store in lips and what information going to store in vbrp like that what each and every table we discussed in the previous session so if you know the tables okay which data going to store in the respective tables if you know these things we can easily link okay now customer master uh, where it going to store k n a1 sale order li kp and lips delivery li uh, li kp and lips and billing vbr k and vbrp okay now we know that uh, first we identify we have to identify the tables once we identify we need to link so the customer to sale order how we can link that so we uh, sale order header level we can we know the uh, we can we can get the order number we can get the customer number so we can link order to customer and uh, order to deliver how can link that this order number so uh, delivery is going to create with reference of order so delivery item level i delivery item level order number going to store so delivery number uh, delivery to billing so billing document is going to create against to delivery so delivery number going to store in billing item level so when you creating the document with reference of another document that reference document going to store in item level that uh, um, preceding document going to store in following document means order information going to store in uh, delivery item level delivery information going to store in billing item level and quotation information going to store in order item level enquiry information going to store in uh, uh, quotation item level like that so the reference data going to store in item level okay you can blindly remember that one and, ne and next and next 
we'll see now we'll see now now if you see a customer number so so we know the customer number right so customer number now customer number we are going to pass in vbak the customer number we are going to pass in vbak so we pass the customer number vbak we'll get the order number the order number if we pass in lips we'll get the delivery number the delivery number if we pass in vbrp we'll get the billing document number so we'll see in the din system so if first we need to identify the tables second we need to identify the link and third we have to proceed for logic okay if we follow this method we can able to answer each and every question so first what we are what we are doing first uh, i will pass the go to vbak in vbak level i, I, I am going to pass the customer number sold to party so we have one more table also is there uh, vbap partner function if we pass if you if you pass the customer in vbap uh, vbrp level also we'll get the order number okay so okay so if you pass the customer number in vbak we'll get the order number so pass the customer number here anyone customer so i'm going to execute first i will take the customer so customer number where we need to pass the customer number we, we have to pass in vbak let, let first let me take the customer here first let me take the customer here so i'm copying the customer so th this is the my customer right the customer i'm going to pass in i'm going to pass in the customer i'm going to pass in vbak level vbak if you pass the customer in corner okay if you pass the customer in we will get the sale order numbers we will get the sale order number okay this sale order number where we have to pass we have to pass in delivery item level because of the reference document going to store in item level if we pass in lips item level the reference document number the description description reference document number and technical name is vgbel vgbel if we pass the order number here vgbel will get the delivery number okay we'll get the delivery number okay this delivery number if we pass in vbrp billing item level if we pass in vbrp vbrp will get the will get the billing number will get the billing document number will get the billing document number so like that like that we need to pass the data from one table to another table so so we'll see the another one i know the delivery number i want to know the billing document type first what we have to identify first this this fields is going to store in which table delivery number table we know it is it may be like a lips or lkp billing di uh, billing document type vb rk so what are the link between vb rk and delivery there is no link we can't link delivery and vb rk but the delivery we can link it billing item level so if we delivery number we are going to we, are, we can link it billing item level the billing item we can link to header so if you if we go this way we can we can get the answer means the delivery number we have to pass in vbrp we will get the billing document number the billing document number we have to pass in vbrk to get the billing document type so order the delivery number we pass it here right vbrk we get the billing document number this billing document number if we pass in vbrk if we pass in vbrk we will get the billing type so like that the way we need to identify the way we need to identify then we can easily answer any question this is f2 okay f2 so see, see the next one i know the delivery number i want to know the customer reference field the delivery number going to store in lkp and lips so in interview in case if you are asking same, same like that you can answer whatever i am saying now same like that you can answer first you can say to them the delivery number going to store in lkp and lips and a customer reference nothing but a po number it is going to store in vbkd okay directly we can't link delivery number to vbkd so what we have to do this our delivery number we have to pass in uh, lips to get the order number the order number we can pass in vbkd 
to get the customer reference so like that we, we have to answer in interview so same like that we have to write in logic in real time okay if you want to fetch any field regarding customer reference we have to write the logic like this okay clearly if you write logic like this so above you can find so the delivery number we have to pass in lips to get the order number so if you pass the delivery number in lips table if you pass the delivery number in lips table here you will get the order number right vgbl vg b e l okay we'll get the order number this order number if we pass in this order number if we pass in if this order number if we pass in vbkd business data okay if we pass in vbkd level if we pass in vbkd level if order number if pass in vbkd level we'll get the customer reference nothing but a po number we'll get we'll get the customer reference nothing but a po number bstkd okay we'll get the po number so like that we need to answer and i know the sales organization i want to know the uh, sales order and delivery number so first sales organization go into store in vbak and uh, order number go into store in vbap and vbak and delivery number like kp and lips so our sales org is going to show vbak right so we can uh, we can pass the sales org in vbak to will get the order number order number pass in lips to get the delivery number okay i know the billing document date i want to know the sale order and delivery name so billing document date going to store in vbrk header level and the sales order going to store in uh, vbap and vbap uh, ap and ep okay AK, vbak and vbap and every number LIKP and LIPS. So billing date if you pass in VBRK will get the will get the billing document number. The billing document number if you pass in VBRP item level will get the delivery number. The delivery number if you pass in LIPS will get the order number. So uh, if you see some uh, some people they they are go going to use the VBFA table document flow table. So instead of using VBFA table better to go this way. Okay, don't you use VBFA table as for my recommendation. So, if you go this way, we won't get any issues in future also. VBFA, maybe you get the chance to get the issues in future. Exactly, uh, we don't know, but better to go with this way. Instead of using VBFA table, better to use this table. In the interview also, instead of telling VBFA, if you're using these fields, this kind of logic, the impression will be more. Okay, the impression will be more. Better to go with uh, this table instead of VBFA okay next so i know the uh, i know the material number i want to know the billing document number and billing quantity so material number going to store in a uh, uh, sales order item level delivery item level billing item level so here ask the client is asking billing document number means so order material number if you pass in vbrp we will get the billing document number the billing document number if you pass in again vbrp along with the item number why we have to pass the line number for example for example okay so if uh, if any billing document having two letters with the same material if you pass the same material we'll get the if you pass the same material we'll get the same we'll get the uh, two item then system will confuse which quantity system has to take system will confuse billing quantity to confuse to take the billing quantity because of for example these two three having the same billing type uh, different different line item but material is same so system will confuse system will confuse okay system will confuse uh middle number right system will confuse to take the quantity because of middle number is same but uh, we have three three different quantities is there so in that case along with the item number we have to pass the billing document along with the item number if i need an item 10 maybe the quantity is different line item 20 quantity is different line item 30 quantity is different so along with the line item number we need to pass okay so along with the portion we need to pass to take the billing quantity okay so i know the delivery number i want to know the billing document price so delivery number going to store in like apn lps billing document going to store in uh, vbr can vbrp base price price is going to store in konv so if you pass the sale order number if you pass the delivery number okay if you pass the delivery number if you pass the delivery number in vbrp we'll get the billing document number the billing document number if you pass in vbrk we'll get the document condition number we'll get the we'll get the document condition number 
the document condition number if we pass in ko and v the document condition number if we pass in ko and v we will get the document condition value when the condition of equal to pr0 when the condition of equal to pr00 okay so like that we need to answer i know the sales order number i want to know the billing document number status so billing document is complete or partially completed is not relevant so we, if you want to know that how we can pass so order number we can pass in vbrp aubl we'll get the billing document number the billing document number you can pass in status so order status delivered billing status in ecc we have one only table vb uk the header vb up is the item okay so what are the status we have to pass in same table so billing document number you can pass in vb uk to get the billing status okay and i know the order number i want to know the customer mail id so order number you can pass in vb ak will get the customer the customer pass in kna1 table to get the address number address number pass in adr6 to get the mail id okay so another sales are uh, sales documented i want to know the order confirmed quantity so order number pass in vb ak order date pass in vb ak will get the order number order number pass in vb up we get the so uh, quant information going to store in vb ep okay schedule and level confirm quantity okay so i know the sale order number i want to middle number and middle description item category then order number pass in uh, vb ap will get the middle number middle number pass in makt will get the description middle number pass in uh, vb ap along with the portioner then we'll get the item category group then we'll get the item category group so blindly you can remember the reference always going to store in item level delivery uh, bill, uh, in billing document level billing item level delivery is going to store delivery item level order will going to store order item level quotation is going to store quotation item level enquiry is going to store okay and uh, but the header so delivery or order or invoice if you double click if you go to the header so order tabs you can able to see those going to store in header level after double click on the material what are the tabs you can able to see those data going to store in item level so basically material information pricing and quantity is going to store in item level and uh, dates billing types and uh, uh, organizer i mean sales area of this thing things going to store in header level okay so this is the way we have to link table to table okay so next class i'm going to cover so many people uh, uh, asking through whatsapp and mail so uh, they are able to create the materials in s4 and because of ml done is not activated usually that is taking up the fico so but uh, uh, in demo system without ml done we can't create any orders right so how uh, well create a new company code what are the setups we have to do including ml run we'll see in the next session so if you done the setups you can able to create the materials and we can able to test the scenarios in s4 ana okay that we are going to discuss in next class once again thank you all for watching the videos please subscribe channel for more videos and to get the more knowledge on sapsd thank you all